work, 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 work. Make that an Evian water. No, I'll have a San Pellegrino in water, no ice. You got it? Here's the deal. There's no deal. My client balked. I tried to sell it, but she wouldn't do it. She thinks her company's worth more. On second thought, that looks interesting. Uh, smoked chicken? I gotta make a phone call. I'm looking for a world of fair play, where the corporate big guys don't always get their way. Oh, you're going to pay for that one. He does. Don't call me Pookie. I'm in a meeting, and I don't have much time. But do you remember when you said you wanted to have sex with me in some weird place? How about Detroit? What can I do by myself in Detroit? I don't love you and I don't miss you. Bye. Oh, 100%. Do you see his mustache? Lightning. Detroit, Michigan! Yeah! <laughs> I'll be this guy, okay? Billy Ray, you gonna sleep down there? Oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hold on, bro. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> He's upset. Something wrong with your brain, boy. Mm-hmm. You're bored, huh? <laughs> I thought you said he raised hogs in Tennessee. You'll bullshit at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Hong Kong. <laughs> I was the horn. <laughs> Unlet it, please. I have no idea. No, it's rented. Delicious. Are you from Tennessee? Yeah, no, don't forget that. Rick? Will MasterCard do? Uh oh, she's following him. You remind me, you remind me of someone a lot. Yeah, a boy, a man named Rick Jarman. His plane went down in the mountains in Mexico, 15 years ago. That's a long time. You laugh like him. You look like him. He was so dreamy.
Billy Ray? Do you have a tattoo? <laughs> Your upper right arm, a dove? I'm not leaving till you show me. Mm. Right arm. My friend would have never been in that war. Oh, he was very much against killing. Oh, come on, man. All right, well, you just stole my line, so there you go. <laughs> this isn't gonna work. No, this movie night, dummy, your accent is terrible. Mm-hmm, you need to get some sleep. You have a rally tomorrow. I'm not attracted to you for your acting ability. <laughs> Good luck tomorrow. Stay safe. Got some water bottles and vinegar, just, you know, in case of tear gas, because always be prepared. There's some guys from the organizing group, looks like we're all the good guys. And yeah, here it comes, here it comes trouble right now. And they, the police are pushing the Nazis, the fascists, into the protesters right now. This is about to kick off. The water was cold and she was a prune, but uh, I don't think she picked up on how bad it was. No, I am. I, I get it. David, there's things about my mom I can't ignore anymore. And when, when she walked in the bathroom and realized what she'd done, she just started crying. Then Alba started crying. It was, you know, it was a lot. Yeah, well, maybe you shouldn't have left us alone. <laughs> <laughs> are, are we having a fight? <laughs> we never fight. Because you always give me that look you're giving me now and I know better than to open my mouth. No. Some water bottles and vinegar, just... The water was cold and she was a prune, but uh, I don't think she picked up on how bad it was. No, I am, I, I get Is what she'd done. She <laughs> are, are we having a fight?
Ava, you were about to say something? No, no. I know you're friends with Eric. His heart is in the right place. He's just hot-headed. Okay, but maybe Eric is on to something, though. I mean, the Nazis, right? So decent people have to stand up to them. It, what? The standing up involves throwing punches. Yeah, maybe it does. This is a law enforcement issue. Okay, they have permits. The police are protecting That's them. right, and that's exactly why someone needs to step up and do what the police should do, right? Because I'm sorry, all due respect, John, you're not going to stop these guys with a Facebook campaign. As a group, we abide by nonviolence. That's fine. And all I'm saying is, is I'm interested in putting my privileged white male able body where it can do some work, right? Because I heard what it was like in Ann Arbor in the 60s, and you were there, John. Look, we have to oppose the rally. We have to oppose the rally. David, we can't advocate for people putting themselves in harm's way. Okay, fine. You know what? I'm sorry. I'm going to have to excuse myself. It's David. fine, David. We'll talk another time. Okay. Hey, you didn't have to leave. That's okay. I wanted to. Yeah, I got into a fight with a police officer. It's a great way to prove that you're not another cover cop, by the way. No, it sucks for the cop. And it worked, too, because everybody thinks I'm live wire now. So, I mean, even my girlfriend, she won't admit it, but she thinks it's on. So. How are you, Michelle? Good. How do you do it? I don't, um, I don't, how do you, how do you put so much of yourself out there for these strangers? It's not Michelle. <laughs> you know, we always use our our real first names just in case we freeze up, you know, in an intense situation where we run into somebody we know. But I, I guess it's different for women when it comes to sex. Wait, um, when, when did you sell real estate? This was in France?
I like you. <laughs> you know, maybe if I keep liking you, maybe you tell me your real name. I gotta go. With scars he said he got from knife fights. There was a cop trying to blackmail him. Max suggests I proposition the officer, so I did. I took him to a room and let him have me. He used his necktie to tie my hands. He smelt of cigarettes and cheap aftershave. And he fucked me like he was hungry for it. Max was... He done with the camera. He waited till the cop was finished. And then he jumped out. He threatened to show the video to my father and the cop stopped making trouble. And as a thank you, you let me keep the necktie. I've never told this story to anyone before. You better drink. You look thirsty. Closing, but the fight is not over. Water is life. <laughs> Oh, I saw your your friend Eric. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, he was with that other guy, his friend. They were helping to block the road and you know not get into the skirmishes. But of course, they round up the easy to grab ones. So. Yeah, I don't know. I just you know I can't just stand around and watch these fascists and these these police. I need to do more. Uh, these fascists, they're just the symptom. <sighs> Everything's so much worse now. This country, this planet. I, mean, I, I need to do more. Maybe. I've been you know, thinking about this pipeline. You know? I need to focus.
You sound like Eric. Let's talk about it later. Okay, first you need to rest. You look terrible. But also great. I wish I was there to hold you. 